Hey, I'm Dustin with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you why your lint screen on your Whirlpool dryer is so important. This also applies to some other Whirlpool manufacturer brands such as Kenmore, Maytag, Amana, and more. Let's go figure out what this does, how to replace it, and what to watch out for. And also, at the very end, I'll share a tip from Whirlpool that I found surprising. If you need to purchase a replacement lint filter for your Whirlpool dryer, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we offer fast shipping and only sell manufacturer-approved genuine replacement parts for all major appliance brands. While you may have never given it a second thought, your dryer's lint screen is actually very critical in the drying process. The lint screen slides in the lint chute and catches any lint, hair, paper, or other debris that you forgot to empty out of your pockets. A broken, damaged, or bent filter can be dangerous if it's not catching lint and debris before it goes through the blower fan and into the dryer's vent. If these areas become clogged, your dryer's performance can be greatly impacted and potentially lead to a fire. No tools are needed for this replacement. To remove your lint filter, simply pull the filter from the top of the dryer. Now that the filter is removed, inspect it for damage. Make sure that there are no rips, tears, or holes in the screen material. Be sure to check closely for damage where the screen attaches to the plastic frame. The screen material should also be indented. This indentation allows for the lint to collect on the screen as the drying cycle runs. After checking the screen for damage, next check the top of the filter near the handle. Here you will see a felt-like material that is responsible for creating a seal in the lint chute. If the lint screen does not create a tight seal, your drying cycle may not be as effective or efficient. The last thing that we will check for is a slight bend of the screen. The entire lint screen frame should have a gradual curve to help hold it tightly against the lint screen chute. If the frame of the lint screen is creased or cracked, it should be replaced. If you need to purchase a new lint screen, make sure you get a manufacturer certified replacement part, like the ones that we saw on our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to search with the model number from the tag on your dryer to be sure you're getting the correct part. To install your new lint screen, simply slide it into the lint chute with the curve angling towards you. You want to be sure that your lint screen sits flush with the top of the dryer to create a tight seal. Well, hopefully you're able to learn a few things about your dryer and the crucial role that your lint screen plays in your dryer's performance. Fun fact, did you know that Whirlpool recommends that you take your lint screen out, wash it with soap, water, and a soft nylon brush every six months? I don't think I've ever scrubbed my lint screen, but I guess I know what I'm doing when I get home today. Thanks for watching. My name is Dustin. I'm from Parts Doctor. And until next time, have a good day.